Hey y'all. Today's lesson is reflections. Maybe you've gone over reflections today uh, or before today, so it might be a review, but the big overall theme is transformation. A transformation is an operation that changes a figure into another figure. And there are going to be four types of transformations we will discuss in eighth grade. One is a reflection, that's what we'll focus on today, translation, rotation, and a dilation. So today we're going to focus on a reflection. A reflection is a flip. It's a mirror image. Uh, like when you look in the mirror, you notice that the words are backwards because it is a mirror image. It just flips it over. And a reflection, if you uh, reflect a shape, a polygon, the two uh, will be congruent. So the image and the pre-image will be congruent. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. The two ways we are going to reflect, focus on eighth grade math, are x-axis and y-axis. So we're going to reflect in, in the x-axis or in the y-axis. And what that means is like across the x-axis or across the y-axis. And here's just a little information about how we write any kind of transformation. So let's say we start with a triangle ABC. If you're going to transform, whether it's reflection or translation or any of them, if you want to transform triangle ABC, then you're going to write this arrow, which means goes to, triangle ABC goes to triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. That means the original point A was transformed and is now A prime. B goes to B prime, C goes to C prime. The first image is the pre-image, so it's the original shape, it's the pre-image, and then it's the image after it's been transformed. And A goes to A prime. That's what I just said. So we're going to practice that today. All right, copy these down. Example one. I didn't have graph paper, so I just drew a coordinate plane. You can draw a coordinate plane. That is fine, too. So reflect in the x-axis. First thing we're going to do is draw this polygon. Then we're going to reflect it in the x-axis, and we're going to write our new coordinates. So we'll start with drawing this polygon. So A is 0, 1. So 0, 1. That's A. Then B is 1, 4 over 1, up 4. C is negative 2, 5. And then D is negative 1 and up 2. So I'm going to connect these and draw my polygon. I have A, B, C, and D. It's important to label your vertices so you know your original vertices and your transformed vertices. So I've done number one. I've drawn the polygon. Number two, I want to reflect it in the x-axis. So what that means is this x, this is your x, this is your y. The x-axis kind of becomes your uh, line of reflection. So we're going to flip it across the x-axis. Every point is going to just drop down vertically down here. So my A stays on 0, so instead of going up 1, it's going to go down 1. B is still going to go over 1, but now instead of going up 4, it's going to go down 4. She's okay. Uh, C is going to go over 2, but instead of going up, what was it? C was 5, it's going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then D is going to go over 1 and down 2. I have reflected it, I'm drawing my new polygon, and I'm going to label them A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So that is number two, reflect it. So I've actually drawn it. If you have graph paper, that's fine, or you can draw a coordinate plane in your notes. The last step is to write the new coordinates. So I have my old coordinates, I'm going to draw my arrows. A prime right here, the coordinates of A prime are 0, negative 1. The coordinates of B prime is 1, and then down 4, negative 4. C prime is over negative 2, and then down 5. And D prime 
we went left two or one? We went left one and down two. So those are my new coordinates. So that is an example of everything. Reflecting, drawing it, reflecting it, and then getting your new coordinates. All right, we're going to do another example. Copy this down in your notes. Same type of thing, except we're going to reflect in the x-axis. So that means, I mean, the y-axis. So that's going to be our axis of reflection, our line of reflection. I'm drawing little marks in here. So I need to draw this triangle. So negative 1, 1, negative 2, up 3, and negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, up 3. All right, so I have my triangle, and this is P, Q, and then R. P, Q, R. Step number one, draw on the triangle. Step number two, we're going to reflect it over the Y axis. So that means this is kind of the flipping point. It's right here. We're going to flip it over here. So my vertices are going to stay up and down the same, but instead of going over on the left, we're going to go on the right. So we'll start with P. It is up, or it's up one, but this time instead of going left one, we're going to go right one and up. That's P prime. Q went over two, so I'm going to go right two and then up three. Q prime. P went, or R went six to the left, so this time I'm going to go six to the right. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, and then up three, and that is R prime. I'm going to connect my vertices. Ooh. And I have a reflected triangle. Last step is to get the new coordinates. So P prime is 1, 1. Q prime is 2, up 3. And R prime is over 6 to the right and up 3. So we have drawn a triangle. We have reflected it in the Y and we have our new coordinates. Do you notice that the numbers actually are the same? So we're going to talk about that. And these are the key concepts that you need to come away with for this lesson. I'm going to give you a moment, pause it, copy this down. These are the key concepts. If you want to reflect in the x-axis, like across the x-axis, which is um, the horizontal axis, to reflect a point in the x-axis, you multiply the y-coordinate by negative 1. So here's an example. If this was your point, 2, negative 3, we would multiply the y-coordinate by negative 1, and your transformed, your image, would be 2, 3. Because negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. Algebraically, we can express it like this. If you have a point, a, y, I mean, a is x, y. That's just a regular coordinate point. Your image, a prime, x value would stay the same, and then your y value would go to the opposite. So a negative y, which means the opposite of y. Up here it was negative, and the opposite of a negative is a positive. So if you want to reflect in the x-axis, you multiply the y coordinate by negative 1. Over here it's similar in the x, I mean, if you want to, reflect in the y-axis, then you would multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1. So I'm giving you an example. Same coordinate. B is 2, negative 3. B prime, you would multiply 2 times negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. That would be your image. That's your B prime. Algebraically, if you had a coordinate x, y, this time the x would be the opposite and your y value would stay the same. So that is how you can do that algebraically. So I'm going to ask you to try it without graphing. So we're not going to graph this one. Okay. All right, it says the triangle of vertices is reflected in the x-axis. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the image. So this is our pre-image. And we want to reflect it in the x, which means we need to multiply the y-coordinate times negative 1. 
the y coordinate times negative 1. a prime, the x coordinate, b prime, the x coordinate, and c prime, the x coordinate, are all going to stay the same. The x is not affected. The y, we're going to multiply by negative 1, which is the opposite. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. So those are our coordinates for our image, the new transform shape. I didn't have to graph it. I didn't actually have to physically reflect it to get the coordinates. So down here, number four, you try this one. The vertices, or x, y, and z, is reflected in the y axis. Find the new coordinates. So pause it, you try this one, and then press play. So because it's the y-axis, we need to pull, multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1. So it's going to make all these the opposite. 3, negative 1, 4, negative 5, and negative 2, 3. The y-coordinate stays the same, and you multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1. All right, we will practice more with reflections in class.